Hello, I am Martin Fenska and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Civilization 5 as India. So at the end of the previous episode I said that I would have to think about the war with America and well I think we'll have to peace out. I think you are right guys that we won't be able to take the city. We are just too late with uh, those upgrades. Not upgrades, with the tech to even get the upgrades. Uh, even if I had the money to upgrade everything right now, I don't think we'd be able to take Chicago anyway. It's not like we can at start attacking it right away. There are some units already. And because he has rifling, he also has access to arsenals. And I'm pretty sure he's gonna build them very quickly. So I give it, I don't know, like five, six turns, and those arsenals will be up with them. The, the city strength would increase, and the, just everything would slow us down. So it doesn't really matter that I invested the money into buildings. Uh, in this case, the upgrades wouldn't, uh, wouldn't change anything. But before we peace out, I want to uh, do a little bit of damage because we are four experience away from a great general and with a great general, a citadel here. We may eventually lose it. I'm not sure if America can buy citadel, but I don't think they can buy the citadel tile. They can buy back the tiles that we're going to steal with it. But they shouldn't be able to do it before our workers remove these forests. So I'm going to do that. So if we decide to take Chicago later, those forests won't be there anymore. It's not just uh, a problem for range units. Uh, at this point, we all have access to indirect fire, but it's also a problem for movement, right? It's slowing down the units that are trying to enter these tiles. So I'll just get rid of it. Um, what else? Oh, and as I was thinking about the war, I actually came up with a plan how to hopefully get the Eiffel Tower and how to get the corporations much faster than it may seem here. So the plan is to go steam power and dynamite as quickly as possible. We all get an engineer in, uh, not engineer, a scientist in two turns. So we're gonna pop him that will give us steam power and uh, at least some research towards dynamite. Uh, when we get dynamite we'll immediately switch uh, to eiffel tower in our capital and i will fade by an engineer to rush it so hopefully that will speed things up enough so that we get it before the mongols get it uh, they have dynamite already but i'm not sure how high priority for like reducing the, the culture cost of policies is for them um I think they prioritize production, they may prioritize things like Brandenburg Gate, things like that. But uh, maybe they don't care about wonders like Eiffel Tower too much. So I hope uh, we'll be able to get that. That's gonna save us, or mm, basically over the, the course of the rest of the game, Eiffel Tower should be worth like one free social policy, more or less. That's how much how much it should save us and uh, give us extra merchant points. Uh, that may actually in the end end up being one extra merchant. So I think it's worth it. And then uh, uh, I want to get a free railroad, free fertilizer, because. Uh, we get enlighten, uh, enlightenment for the free tag. And we should be able to steal a tag from um, Brazil. I'll just have to line it up properly. And that will put us... To, that will put us two tags away from corporations. So it should be, get, uh, should, should be able to get to corporations much faster than it may seem from here. It looks like we are missing two for six tags, but uh, we should be able to get them pretty quickly. Just uh, if I can line up everything well enough. And one important part of this plan is... The great writer that we get in 11 that will save us the time here to get the, the social policy when we need it. So let's see if I can pull this off. Okay, here we have to wait a turn. Now you'll move here. I'm probably gonna need one upgrade so that uh, the Swissalier doesn't get killed in case they try to attack him. I'm gonna move the musketman here. It's a bit risky. 
but I don't think the the Galas can uh, uh, kill him. You can move back. You can step up. You can probably land here. It's our territory, so we can just end the war with the units here. Fortify, fortify. Next. Okay, that is the general. Now we can take two more shots, maybe even destroy that ship. Uh, here we can't even move. Holy crap, that debuff is strong. Yeah, definitely time to peace out. Uh, what the? Oh, I thought I'd be able to shoot. Something is slowing me down. I'm not sure what it is right now, but well, it doesn't matter. Does he have Great Wall? Oh, he has Great Wall. Well, that explains things. We don't have Dynamite yet, but we are close. It's another detail that I forget about. Fine, so we won't be able to get rid of the Galas. Never mind. Is there anything else that we could do? Uh, how far are we from an Admiral? Very far. I mean, I could still just attack. Should probably first check if I can peace out. Well. Yeah. Well. Is there anything else that we could attack? One, two, three, f nothing here. No, nothing. Hmm. Well. Go on. Agreed. Okay, let's be friends again. You were saying... I'll take your silver, give you my gems. You give me like one gold per turn? No. Anything else? Nope. Oh, very well. And we are no friends with Kahokia. Excellent. Let's check these islands. Or oh, first of all, let's check this tile. I'm still looking for more wonders. Oh, so let's make sure we don't miss it somewhere. Delhi is growing. I want to log. Well, that's a good question. Would I want to log? Probably merchant. Because we get the merchant in what well, 16. This will give him or this way we will get him in 13. 15 for musician. Yeah, I'm not working the musician for now. Uh they're not as important at this point. They are not working. Diplomats really could use one more citizen working in the workshop. If I unlock another tile, I'll just lose too much at this point. I may send one cargo ship with food to the capital. Speaking about ships. Can you trade with the Mongols somewhere? No. I think the trade route to Rio is pretty good. It's giving us more than it's giving them. For him 12 gold per turn is nothing. For us 20 gold per turn is a lot.
could get even more, but we wouldn't be getting any culture. I want every bit of culture that I can get. How much food would this be? 31. And it's going this way, so... It's gonna be a bit safer next time we fight America. Okay, let's do it just once. And it saved us like 8 turns, that was definitely worth it. Twenty-one gold per turn to Chicago. To Eleven, twelve. We are getting some signs. The culture actually isn't as much as I thought it would be. Uh, nothing else. Well, this is nice for gold. Lisbon. Wow, Lisbon is decent. What's the maximum science we can get? For some reason, it is from Lisbon. What the hell? Okay. Let's go for that. Porto is now... What? 24 up here. Guess I'll be trading with Portugal. I didn't expect that, but hey. It's the highest number. Now we are missing one ship. Um, how quickly can we get that ship? When we build it. Six turns to build it. In the capital it will be four turns, but I can't really afford it to waste time in the capital. I'd like to get the musicians guild up. How is Mumbai doing? You are almost done with all the, the important projects. You know what? You will get the honors. Uh, here we have a quest to get the scientist. What else do we have? That's against Mongolia, that's not gonna happen. Liberate Vancouver, that's not gonna happen. This could happen, and yeah, you want to give, or you want me to have tea, that's quite difficult. And one operation against Darius, maybe if it's still there when we get to the next era. Okay. Next. Portugal denounced America. That means they peaced out. I have no idea why they denounced us. I didn't do that much to them. Maybe they just don't like that I basically wiped out their religion. I don't think it's because I stole one tile from them. Now you'll go back for repairs. Uh, sure, it was, this was enough to get the level up for the cannon. Sure. And get ready to start working. Now I'll save up as much money as possible because with um, dynamite we'll get access to Gatling guns. And that's the most important upgrade right now. There is the reward, excellent. Kahokia requests road. Yeah. Um, hmm. How am I supposed to do that?
What the? I just get a quest that's impossible to do. I can't build roads inside of uh, the territory of the other AIs. So I can't build... I can build road here and then I just hope that America connects it, which they will never do because they have no reason to build road anywhere here. Okay, well, never mind. I thought that um, they wanted a road here. Well, what are we doing here? 16 turns, well, I guess we'll just look more food. I'm the scientist that we want to pop for science at this point. 4,000. Gave us like 11 something turns. <clears throat> Discovered coal. Nice, so we have the coal right away. And yeah, that's more than enough. Go. I'm playing pretty slowly here because the timing is crucial and I don't want to mess it up. Now I think I'll just keep my coal for now. We're gonna lose this alliance. There's a great diplomat. I was a bit nervous that America is going to buy this tile when they see the general coming, but they didn't. Yep, yeah, I'm sure that you hate it. But I don't care. Oh, and we stole some coal from him. Um, hmm. He's definitely going to buy this tile. So I'll just uh, try to remove the forest there as soon as possible. Won't really care about the coal. <clears throat> Excuse me. And look at that, look at the strength of the city, it's already 60, he managed to get those arsenals up in like two turns. And uh, for us, do we have, we do have access to arsenals, just out of curiosity. Uh, we don't have a castle here yet, arsenal 12, yep. We are at a slight disadvantage when it comes to production times. So, because there is this great diplomat, we have, what, uh, 221 influence. Uh, we will lose this alliance. I can't do anything about it, which means, suddenly, I don't care about the open door. I actually want the open door at this point. Because that will take away vote from Brazil. Um, so, I will vote for this one to make Mongolia happy that I'm trying to help them. At the same time, <laughs> I'm gonna vote for the ban. Uh, <clears throat> that should balance things out a little bit. How does it look at the votes? We have 11, yeah, we're gonna lose one. I was hoping that you would be a little more ahead at this point with the, the amount of votes. So, the AI should stop this very easily. Um, I really want to ban Lapis. I have to attack his happiness. Um, okay. Let's do it. 
Now the opera house is done. We definitely want to build Hermitage as soon as possible. We have to uh, check um, also this time. Eight turns to get the dynamite. In eight turns we can build a musician's guild. We can build the castle. This is eight. Okay. And I should probably start upgrading units. Maybe here first. Wait, wait, wait. Um, never mind. For some reason, I thought we had the Gatling guns available. This is pretty important information. Polynesia is in very bad shape. Also, everyone is in quite bad shape with one exception. Washington, uh, his military strength is high because he didn't have to fight, didn't have to fight Mongolia. So his uh, army didn't get wiped out. Everyone else, well, this is the work of America, but everything else here, this is the work of uh, Mongolia. Holy crap, he's scary. So I'll just remove the forest. Nothing here, oh, let's move. This way. There are so many ships now that I really doubt there are any barbarians there. Research stolen from Mumbai, whatever. There's our new Golden Age points. Open door to Mogadishu passes. Excellent. World religion fails. Ban on Lapis passes as well. Perfect. I hope Brazil burned that great diplomat. They didn't. Bad timing. So what are we gonna propose? At this point we should start uh, proposing... Where is it? Sphere of Influence, here. I think I'll try to take a Hokia back. I could try Kuala Lumpur because it's cultured. How many votes does uh, Polynesia have? And he doesn't like us anyway. Oh, okay, fine. Because it's cultured to this day, I'll take it. So that's Kuala Lumpur. Mm, sphere of influence, Kuala Lumpur. Portugal, Zulus, Polynesia will be angry. Mongolia, America, Brazil, and Persia. Well, it's important that America and Mongolia are happy about this. Propose. Next. Also now have room for some extra units. Your support of our proposal in the World Congress was essential. I hope we can work together again in the future. Yep. That one vote that didn't change anything gave us a positive modifier. One thing. Let's try to optimize this a little bit. If we get anything. I think a little bit of extra tourism there. Next. Darius entered industrial era. Good for him. I really wish I had um, a spy in his in um, Mongolian capital. 
You're very pleased to hear your recent proposal. Yeah, he's very happy with I'm with what I'm doing right now. You love the can day end it in Delhi. We all get uh, that uh, merchant soon, so we should ha should get it back. Now the ship. What's our best trade route? Culture wise, oh, wait, this one culture wise. You get eight culture, but eleven gold. Eight thirteen eight. 16, that's not bad. What's our best trade route money wise? That's a caravan, Delhi to Porto. 27. You don't get any culture out of it. So you'd be losing out like 11 gold in exchange for 8 culture. I think I want the culture. Or do I? 11 culture now when we are making 750 per tier and that's nothing while well, 11 gold actually makes a difference okay let's go with the with the gold so that means delhi to porto next Pedro has made peace with Shaka. Well, there was a Cold War. I wonder if I can pay America to attack Brazil. Probably not when they have a defensive pact. Wait. There is already a trade route in place. Oh, there is. What's the second best? 21. Which way would it go? This way. Oh wait, 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 wait. The city survived. America didn't have a unit that could take it, but I'm a bit nervous that uh, there are barbarians here that are just gonna destroy that cargo ship. So instead I'll go Maybe to Darius twenty one four. Here we get more pressure to him, and are not not getting as much back. Who is Cotton? America Valletta. But because you'll get that uh, merchant, we don't have to worry about uh, luxuries right now. Hmm, this doesn't change anything. I think I'm gonna build... Musicians built here, then a harbor, then the opera house. These are horrible tiles. 22, 24. Well, I could take this tile. Are we working it even from the capital? Yeah. I'll just speed up the growth a little bit. And uh, 
when we get the uh, the musicians guild we can unlock that and as the city grows we'll just start looking more and more specialists It makes a difference on quite a few buildings, so let's keep this mine log. Next. Now we have Opera House, what are the other options? I think I'll quickly grab the circus. Watch out, wait, we don't no, no we don't need it. We'll just use it to reset We Love the King Day. Or, or if they ask for a resource we can't get, then we're gonna use it for a reset. So instead, I think I'll go... Actually, Chancery should still give us decent yields. And it's built in no time. What is this musician? Next. How are we doing? Two turns, then we get the dynamite. One, two, three, four, five. That's too far to be worked. Open borders from Maria and they uh, don't really care, I think. Next. Uh, who needs orders? You need orders. Okay, I'll well, keep moving. And we can start exploring now. Also, Let's send uh, the frigate to do some exploring as well. Next. We expected him to get Neuschwanstein, so no surprise there. If I want to get the Eiffel Tower, I have to get it fast. Now when we are making over 100 gold per turn, I may even spend the money and just pay for it. Because if I invest the engineer into it, I, I have to make sure that I get it. So I have to reduce the time, ideally like one turn. So I'm gonna queue it up, wait one turn, and next turn burn everything on it. What are we doing with that spy? Two turns. I think I messed up the timing a bit. Yeah, because I'll steal array roads now.
What I can do, I can invest two turns into the military science. So that I don't waste science on a tag that I should be able to steal anyway. It's the only tag that I'll be able to steal. And then we'll get free fertilizer from the next social policy. Go. Much production can we get from the engineer? 1800 something. The tag, I mean, the, the wonder is 3000. So, like two thirds. And this gives us a quarter. So, it'll be like two turns away. One turn away. Uh, the writer has to wait. One turn. I first need to steal the tag. Then I can pop him. It, it probably doesn't matter, but it's guaranteed that uh, that Brazil has this tag. They just built Neuschwanstein, so we know they have it. We don't know 100% that they have any of these two tags. So I don't want to get the free railroads from a social policy and then find out that I can't steal anything from them. That would be quite uh, stupid. Okay, Delhi. Um, ten turns. Would it make a difference? Or how much of a difference would it make? Two turns. We would get the musician in 49. You know what? That's probably not worth it. Let's unlock this and get the engineer a bit faster. That saves us five turns. Horses to Shaka and then listen, dude. Oh, wow, 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 that's not enough. Okay, I'm not gonna trade it again. How much is this upgrade? 570. Well, let's start spending the rest of the money. Let's go for a museum, it's quite greedy. <clears throat> Arsenal would be safer, but hopefully we won't need Arsenal for some time. Wait. Watch up the forest. Keep moving. Now, one turn. It's only about Mongolia. No one else can steal it. You want coal. No, I don't think so. America, Mongolia, please, please, please. <laughs> Come on. Still not 100%. Sometimes the pop-up is delayed. Yes! I'm like 99% certain he was working on it. And when the AI, like him, starts working on a wonder, it's done in only a few turns, so I wonder how close this was. We'll never know. Maybe I'm just completely wrong and he would ignore the wonder. But, well, it's definitely nervous. Uh, now, there are railroads. It's timed up perfectly. There, we can get the Enlightenment. I want to go Enlightenment so that I can get free thought next. We'll be popping quite a few scientists and um, I want the extra yields. Uh, 
10% extra uh, science during golden ages is useful as well because our golden ages, or we should be getting golden ages quite often now. Now the question is, do we want fertilizer first or do we want to go industrialization? It's because um, industrialization or, or with coal we would uh, and industrialization we would get access to factories earlier. But I think our production is decent-ish right now. I think I tried to get the extra food from, uh, uh, what is it, from... Uh, Pastures and farms and plus three production manufacturers is also decent. This time we may even build some agribusinesses. Plus three production and food from farms and pastures work. Yeah, definitely want to get them. Um, actually, they are even more important than the factories here. I forget that this is the version where agribusinesses are completely broken, especially as India. So free fertilizer, nation that destroys its soil. and there's another reason why to get fertilizer because someone has industrialization already. So uh, this tag is significantly more expensive. Kabul wants to discover Panama City. Really, is there still a city state we don't know about? Hmm. Pedro declared war on Darius. Pedro declared war on... That is brave. Washington declared... Wait, 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 wait. How did this happen? It's Pedro with America declaring on someone. That's wrong, because this looks like Mongolia declared on America. Washington has declared war on uh, Genghis Khan. But this is showing me a different thing. This is showing me that Mongolia has declared on America. That's the only way how Pedro could be dragged into this. They have defensive pact. And there is no way America... Uh, like. Uh, somehow bribed Pedro to declare it with them. There's no one stupid enough to declare on Mongolia right now. It has to be Mongolia declaring on America and the defensive pack dragged uh, Brazil into it. And they it could cost them Salvador. This is excellent. Also, a war between America and Mongolia is great because up until now, they're friends. And now, America, this is gonna cost him. This should be also maybe even costly for Mongolia, because the terrain for attack is horrible here. He'll be eventually able to get to New York, but I don't think he'll be able to take the city, and he should lose at least some units in the process. For him, it's like a drop in the bucket, but um, still something he'll have to replace. And it will have uh, it will keep him busy for a while. Good. Now, our capital. There's still more and more buildings that we need to build, but there's one more thing that we need as well, and those are the archaeologists. I'll get one archaeologist and agribusiness. Yeah, we can... How much is that? 8,000. Uh, this cost 17,000. Not sure if I should pop him for culture or get one more great work. I'll be doing it right there in their capital 42 turns. Now let's get the now let's get the, the culture. It should be more than eight thousand. Can we see it somewhere? No.
Next. How many horses do we have? Five. So it's enough for two more agribusinesses. I'm not quite sure if we have access to more horses than that. We are getting six here. And we are getting five here. So 11, that's enough for agribusinesses everywhere. It seems we have one more trade somewhere. And look at that. We can't steal from Brazil anymore. So I was right waiting uh, to steal the railroads and then get the free fertilizer from the social policy. It probably wouldn't work the other way around. Yeah, it definitely wouldn't work the other way around. Now the question is, what are we going to do when we know we can't steal tax from him, but we know that we can steal a ton of money from him? His income, it doesn't matter. His money are coming from his unique ability. Does it look like with the quest? One more. I think I'm just gonna move to Darius. Mm. Special because Persepolis is out now has pretty decent potential. We can't steal tax from him, but we might be able to steal like great work. How many farms are we working? Quite a few. Yeah, I need to get those ugly businesses. The yields of farms will just skyrocket. Now, how quickly are we getting great people? Next one is gonna be the profit. 20 turns for a writer. So we are getting writer. Or another writer, not just the one in the capital. I thought the one in the capital is going to be next. Go. Oh, come on. Uh, actually, maybe it's not too bad. We can get... Dreadnought now. Mm -hmm. Oh, this looks like a tile that we should be working. Okay, I'll make a cut here before I spend all the money. It's most likely going to be unit upgrades. But I want to make sure there isn't nothing in the near future that we want to pay for. Like another wonder or something like that. But I don't think there is a wonder in the near future that we are that interested in. Does anybody have electricity? 11, 11, 11, 11. Oh, no one is centered modern era. I should probably check how does it look like. Tech-wise, we have 48. Ha! We managed to catch up with Mongolia. How did that happen? And we are now three techs ahead of Brazil. 42, 41. So that means um, Mongolia has military science. Which means they don't have one of these tags. 
I think they have industrialization as well. So they don't have two tags that we have. We could try to steal from them once we are done with that city-state quest. Uh, yeah, there is no way anybody gets corporation. And there is probably no way anybody gets electricity before we do. Also, a same with Statue of Liberty. Actually, wait. Statue of Liberty requires freedom. Never mind. Um, but there is also things like Crystal Redentor. And we all have no competition there. It requires 18 policies, but I should be able to get there uh, quite fast. Research labs. I don't really need to rush penicillin. If you want to rush anything, might be nuclear fission. Because, you know, India. But nuclear fission, uh, it's not on the way to telecommunication. So maybe I'll just... Try to get telecommunication as soon as possible. What's the last military tag that we need for that? Military science. Mm, let's get the rifleman. I'm checking what I'm missing by not taking anything here. The most important thing that we would miss is ballistics, artillery, and uh, machine guns. We would get flight. We could get the free nuke from Atomic Theory. I'm thinking about this because Mongolia will focus on these tags most likely. So I'm thinking if it's possible for us to just go for telecommunications, ignore basically everything here and survive. So it can happen something like when we are researching telecommunications, they uh, may have mobile tactics at that point while we would be defending with cavalry. Well, we'll have to keep an eye on that. I think I will have to get at least ballistics. But I'm definitely happy that we managed to catch up with them. Let's see if he can uh, still keep up or if he'll be able to again get ahead. They will tell us a lot about how the game is going to develop. If he can pull ahead again, then we know we'll be in trouble if he can stay ahead or even get ahead of him, then we are in pretty good shape. Okay, uh, we are done with this episode, so I hope that you liked it. I hope that you're going to join me next time again. And until then, have a good time. Bye-bye.